This is the madness that is my growing room. So I've got a bunch of stuff that I'm overwintering, just like this one. I, I only brought it in because of this um, Lysanthus in here. I heard they overwintered and then all these volunteer um, Celosias popped up and this beautiful Petunia and some Snapdragons. Oh wait, that, is that going to be a different color? So that one might even be a different color. Isn't that cool? Got an aloe blooming over here. Um, so most of these are my succulents and I've had these going for a couple years now. Um, but then up on top, eventually I'm going to have two more lights up there. And I've got tomatoes that I just planted today. And I've got some dahlias started. And some baby succulents. I had a whole bunch of uh, leaves trimming and nobody wanted to buy them. So I just stuck them in a pot and there they are. Uh, and I've got seedlings. I just potted these up today. That's a bunch of agastache and I've got more agastache seedlings coming. So my volunteer, not volunteer, Lysianthus that I saved from seed. Um, and then I've just got a bunch of random stuff. My Urbana that is not doing anything. Where is it? <laughs> I always get excited and then it's just like a piece of perlite with algae on it. It's not a seedling yet. But these are like really tiny and fragile. I don't know what the deal is with those. It's the first time I've grown those. This is a mix of... This was a basket flower that I thought wasn't going to come up. So I replant, I overplanted it with some stock, and there's the basket flower. And I've got just a bunch of salvia, and that is some um, oregano. It's like ornamental oregano. Everyone shows it in this nice full pot, and it grows so slowly. It takes forever to seed, to germinate. <laughs> this is my, these aren't doing so good. There's a bunch of stuff that just didn't germinate over here. So they all got stuck into this tray, and we will see. They're all kind of moldy and old. But... And my dahlias that I started way too early. Um, and some more dahlias. And some hydrangeas that I couldn't resist at Sam's Club. Got some grass, and I forget what this is called, that little viney thing. Probably started that too early, too. And then... I had to move my begonias that I was overwintering and I put more seedlings down here. So I've got, I don't even know what, maybe some hollyhocks, some asters, some stock, some purple basil that smells amazing. And some of them didn't germinate right away, so I put some green basil in there too. And then I've got, what is that? Oh, the Gallardia. I've never grown that before. Bunch of different um, celosias. I, I think I need to thin these out. I just don't have space. And then these are all asters, like different kinds of aster. I only had one or two come up last year. So, well, that's it. And this is my, look at that, it's variegated. Oh my God. I don't think these usually come variegated, which I'm kind of excited for. I don't think the next leaf is, which is kind of disappointing. Maybe it is, did I just break that off? Crap, okay. I'll just stick it down in the dirt. Maybe it'll grow another one. All right, so those are my seedlings. And as a bonus, this is our storage room. It's a mess. Uh, here's our frog. Our tree frog that we're taking care of. Is that a fungus gnat on your back? You are such a dork. So he will, she, it will go back outside in a couple weeks now. Once it warms up just a little bit more. I put those in there for him to eat. Not as to be a playset. Okay. So that is that. Pretty cool. I just wish I had more space. Obviously we're pretty full. This is our storage room. And we just got rid we just finished a part of the basement, so that's less storage space that we have, because it's a room now. But here's there it is.